You leave Merrill. What's your first business? <laughs> All right, y'all. I started a company, me and my one of my best friends from college. It was called Zulu Condoms. The condom hey, design. Hold on, excuse me? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Zulu. Zulu Condoms. Z-U-L-U. I wish I had one on me, but it, it was called Zulu Condoms. The condom design with the black man in mind. And we had Respect and Protect was our moniker. And on the back of the packaging, we had statistical data showing the repercussions of unsafe sex in the black community. And so my partner and I came up with the idea. He actually came up with the idea. And I was like, man, this isn't going to work. Then I, a bolt of lightning hit me one night while I'm in the bed. I'm like, yo, Zulu condoms, the condom designed for the black man in mind. And bam, we started off and running. So just imagine I was just newly married. My partner had got married a year ago. He was at Merrill Lynch in another branch. And uh, we tell our wives, yo, we quitting. We starting the condom business. <laughs> so you know. <laughs> yeah. That, so, that couldn't have been a great conversation. <laughs> but you know what's funny? I told my wife, I said, you knew who I was before you married me. You I, I, I already told you what I wanted to do. I wanted to have my own business. I didn't know exactly what type at the time. And... Um, her background is in education, right? So she's actually a, a principal at a high school now, but she was a teacher then, and all her parents were both teachers. So, you know, that's a, that's a very, very stable. stable. Yeah, very stable. The only way you're going to lose that type of job is if you molesting kids or something, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So <laughs> it's crazy. But um, so that, it was a different dynamic, man. And it, 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 was, a, it, was, a, it was a tough transition for her to really grasp but I give her credit, you know, she, she hung in there with the brother. <laughs> good man, good man. How'd that company do? Oh, bro, we, if you go back and check out Vibe Magazine, The Source, Essence, uh, we had so many write-ups. This was in the early 90s. Uh, TLC used to throw our condoms out at shows. Luke from the Two Live Crew, we used to do promos with him. So we were getting mad traction. But the problem was, it was pre-internet days. So if the internet was was up back then, man, I'd probably be in, uh, sitting in a hammock in an island right, right now. <laughs> to, you know? <laughs> so we were doing everything via, via mail, direct mail, uh, and we run like radio advertising. We'd be at all the black expos, at Javits Center, all around the country. And we got crazy press because our whole concept was, yeah, it's cool and all of that, but we're trying to, this is when AIDS was really hitting hard, get, you know, really came out. So we're like, look, if you're going to, you know, you know, be sexually active, protect yourself. That's why I was respect and protect. And uh, so, yeah, that was our first business. We rolled for about two and a half to three years pretty well. But then uh, my first daughter was born, my, you know, my wife and I, my, my uh, partner, he had a child. And those margins on condoms, man, you know, you got to sell a whole lot of condoms to make some decent money. So um, we ended up squashing it but it's funny my niece probably about 10 years ago she was like unk i want to bring this back i said you got my blessing because i'm too mm -hmm. old to be out there yeah. hustling like that for condoms <laughs> but that was the first business bro yeah so if you google it i i've seen a couple articles but i got stacks of newspaper articles and and stuff and interviews man it, it was crazy so we made some noise we just we didn't have the economics to keep up with it with the actual uh you know, uh, press that we would get. Gotcha. Gotcha. So you shut the business down. Do you go back to a full-time job or do you go into another business? I go back to a full-time job and I'll tell you why I did that. Uh, and I've done that like twice. I, so I was in, out, in, out to recalibrate. So my thing is this, I, a lot of times I'll take jobs so I can learn things, not for the money. Mm -hmm. So my next uh, venture was, uh, well, my next thing was I went back into corporate as an advertising executive for Gannett, uh, which used to be the publisher of USA Today and all of that stuff. And so I went back in there because I said, man, I got to learn real marketing, how to advertise, because when I come back out again, I want to have that in my holster. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? So I took a job. I did about 14 months at Gannett and then it was peace. I'm out, <laughs> you know? Um, but I do that, and like I tell people now, whatever position you're in, if you're trying to transition, leverage all the resources and tools that your employer has. Don't steal them, but leverage <laughs> them. You know what I mean? Yeah, leverage them so 
you can add add ammunition to your tool belt. So when you do go out, yo, I have this hard skill. I learned how to do that. So that's exactly what I did. Do you come back out after 14 months into another business? Yeah, baby. I can't quit, man. It's in me, Sean. Okay. <laughs> so I want you because this is this is a a, a point I want to highlight here. Mm-hmm. People think that this is going to be easy. People right. don't understand that when you're an entrepreneur, the odds of you hitting it out the park the first go round are yeah. slim to none. Exactly. So I want to take take a second and zone in on this because you had your condom business for, for what, two, three years? About uh, three years, yeah. About mm-hmm. three years. You had to put it to rest for whatever the reasons you go back into, into the workforce. Right. Did you understand at that point failure was part of the process? Most definitely. And that's key because people that aren't entrepreneurs don't understand that. So it's, it's almost like it's a stepping stone. You know, you graduated. You, you just got out of first grade. Now, I always told my wife, I said, if major million and billion dollar companies can go out of business, why can't Jay Jones? There you go. <laughs> so my whole philosophy is, and this is what she had to understand over, over a period of time, this is part of the process. So as long as I'm not making those same mistakes that I made the first time, then that means I've leveled up to the next grade. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. That, that, that's so true because people think because they have failed, because they put all of this work into their business, and for whatever reason it didn't take off, that wasn't supposed to be what it is. Right. In this thing called entrepreneurship, it is it is almost a hundred percent certain that you are not going to start a business first go round and that business is going to carry you for 20, 30 years and you are going to live on some island somewhere and be wealthy. It just doesn't work like that. So please understand failure is part of this process. You just have to learn from it and get back on the horse. What's up guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love.